Hi, my name is Caroline, and today I'm breaking down the five key differences between VNC and Raspberry Pi Connect. If you've ever tried to remotely access your Raspberry Pi, you've probably used one of these tools or maybe both. But which one should you use? In my Raspberry Pi videos, I've covered VNC, SSH, and Raspberry Pi Connect as ways to remotely access your Raspberry Pi without an extra monitor, mouse, or keyboard. Remote access makes it easy to update software, run scripts, or monitor sensors without having to physically plug in that extra mouse, keyboard, or monitor. I'll link to the full tutorials for setting up VNC, SSH, and Raspberry Pi Connect step-by-step -step in the video description. Now let's get started. Number one, let's talk about network access. With VNC, you must be on the same local network as your Raspberry Pi. But with Raspberry Pi Connect, you can connect from anywhere in the world as long as you have an open internet connection. Number two, user accounts. The Raspberry Pi Connect requires you to create a free account with a login and password, but with VNC, you don't have to create an account. You just install the VNC Viewer app and connect using the credentials you set up on the Pi. Number three, IP address. VNC needs you to know your Pi's IP address. If your router assigns dynamic IPs, you may need to reserve a static IP for each Pi. The Raspberry Pi Connect skips all of that. It works without worrying about the IP addresses. Number four, terminal or screen share. VNC gives you screen sharing only. If you want terminal access, you'll have to set up SSH. Raspberry Pi Connect gives you the option to choose full desktop screen sharing or just the terminal interface right in your browser. And number five, app download. VNC requires a separate app called VNC Viewer, which you must download and install. The Raspberry Pi Connect, there's nothing to install. You just use the browser of your choice and go to connect.raspberrypi.com. Which should you use? I've used all three, VNC, SSH, and Raspberry Pi Connect. These days, I'm reaching for Raspberry Pi Connect more often than not. It's just more convenient for me. I just log in with my browser, select my Pi, and I just get going. If you're just getting started or need help setting any of these up, I've got you covered. I've linked to my full step-by-step -step setup tutorials for VNC, SSH, and Raspberry Pi in the description. If this breakdown helped you out, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more Raspberry Pi tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.